for China itself, uh, as I understand, mm -hmm. because China's uh, major goal is still to still to achieve sustainable economic development. Yeah. To to sustain economic development, it's very important for China, you know, to go global. Mm -hmm. What what China calls "zhou chu chu," I mean, productive capacity are very much needed by other developing countries. Also, more importantly, China also has uh, ski the skill. So capital, capacity, and the scale, those three things combined, you know, give a lot of dynamic for China's going global strategy. The Belt and Road Initiative is very, very visionary and exciting. It is uh, going to be beneficial uh, to the countries all around uh, China's borders, and it will also help China maintain political and economic stability within its borders. It is a long-term vision which reflects the Chinese ability to plan and see far into the future, which is uh, very important, especially in today's world where things are changing so fast. And then because uh, in this world we have different ideology, different political regime, yeah, different political system. People sometimes, you know, view as a country, you know, you know, on a cultural or ideological bias. Mm -hmm. I would say, I, I, I think, you know, it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. you know. China should be confident, we should be confident enough you know, to go ahead as long as we do good for other country, other country will accept that. You know. Even you, you, you like the you know, United States, you know, democracy, human rights, mm -hmm. you know, if you look at uh, the Middle East people, I don't think people really will appreciate if you have a, a wonderful purpose, but in reality, you know, you are well, your army is there, you know, uh, you cause more problems than you solve problems, right? So, so that's uh, no problem. As a rising power, as a responsible uh, international player, China should do, you know, lots of uh, this uh, project like, uh, this kind of project like one by one route, you know, to benefit other countries. Here, if you see that is East Asia countries, and uh, here we do have uh, China and uh, Mongolia and Korea, and passing through the Southeast Asia, southern part of China. Mm -hmm. And here, I think if it was well devised, and if it was transformed into a trade or the economic corridors, and bringing benefits, I think it will uh, bring uh, co-prosperity. And also still these regions uh, people are uh, lagging and some of uh, this inclusive growth is not taking place. Particularly there is a disparity or the gap uh, between the regions, uh, the development. And if it is uh, well designed and it can bring this uh, inclusive growth for all the countries. And also it could uh, bring integrity. Uh, across these uh, economies. Because if you look at uh, wind belt, wind low, around the wind belt, along the wind low, except uh, for a few countries like Singapore, most countries are developing countries. Many countries are very poor. Mm -hmm. They desperately need to develop the economy. They don't have enough capital. They don't have a capacity. You know, they don't have scale. So that why so many countries, you know, support China's initiative. We are in the time of globalization. We are in the time in which information is very quickly uh, transmitted. Uh, we are in the time we have to cooperate together because it's, uh, the, we are so close, it's our common goal. Uh, uh, so I think it's, it's a good, uh, good initiative. It's initiative is going to the right way. It's another, it's another uh, proof of the responsibility for the development of the world. And I think we have to show our responsibility for the world and try to find the best thing for the common development. And I think this is going to this, to this, to this direction. Because until today, the world economy is still unbalanced. Well, this, uh, well as, uh, as many years ago, like two, the two uh, the, you know, global financial crisis was a result of a global economic imbalance. But China's one belt, one low initiative is to help you know, the development and the, uh, in, in local economies in the developing world.
So in the long run, it will also help you know, to rebalance the world economy. So I would say this is really you know, an important project initiated by a rising great power, you know, that's China. You know, if you look around the whole world, now only China now has this capacity, has the skill, also has the determination and to do this sort of huge project.